Hey Collective, it's your girl Spiritual Sag. Now, last, well, it was about this, this morning about 3.30. I was woke up, right? So I was just watching my phone, watching videos, and I heard the story, it says return home, the returning home of Jacob. And I didn't know what that meant, so of course I Googled it. And I remember a story out of the Bible that my mama told me a long time ago about uh, Esau and Jacob. And so I'm, I'm reading and reading. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I feel like if y'all know the story of Esau and Jacob, that were they were two fraternal twins. Um, that was the birth of two nations, right? And if I'm wrong, y'all leave it in the comments, cause I really didn't know. I didn't really didn't know the story of Jacob. I really didn't. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess up on some things. But anyway, what I got out of it was there's about to be some important reconciliation. There's about to be some type of forgiveness um, with the two nations. Now, these two nations, take it how it's going to resonate in your life. 111 on the phone. Take it how it's going to resonate in your life. These two nations could be just like it was in the Bible. Two brothers. Um, this could be a romantic relationship. Uh, last night I was picking it up on a much deeper scale. Um, I don't know if that was for me personally or if it was for someone in my collective, but Jacob was given the birthright, right? And Esau became very angry. And I asked, as I was reading everything, did God change Esau's heart in the 20 years that they were apart? And from what I could understand, he did. Jacob was worried that he was fearful. He was fearful of his life, okay? So he separated everybody. Um, but Esau didn't want to harm him. In fact, when they reunited, it said his arms fell around his neck and they both wept. So, again, take this how it's going to resonate in your life. Everybody's going to be different for everybody. But I do feel like somebody was upset. And I feel like some of you guys were told to leave a place. You were also told to return to that place, but you were scared, okay? This is what I'm getting from what I heard last night, from what I got last night. Um, there's about to be a very important reconciliation that is going to affect a lot of people. Again, y'all have to take this how it's going to resonate. Forgiveness, empathy even. Like, somebody's willing to see things from both sides of the situation. Um, let's see what I get at these cards, y'all. But, yeah, that's about to happen for somebody. Look at that. You could even have a deep knowing of this, okay? Now, I could go a little bit deeper on... The descendants of Esau, the descendants of Jacob, but y'all, y'all go ahead and read that for yourself, okay? The the moral of this right here is the reconciliation and the forgiveness, okay? Because I'm even picking up like two people could have the keys to something. You see those two keys right there? This could be the birth of two nations. Some of you may um. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the fraternal, not identical twins, fraternal twins. So, they were different. They looked different. One was favored by the mother. One was favored by the father. So, there could be some type of differences here with these two people that's about to reconcile or these two people that's about to extend some forgiveness. It's also going to be the extending of an olive branch, okay? They keep going. Mm, uh, with this observer... This would be, this could, this could be Esau. Whatever's going to be symbolic to Esau in y'all life. Watching. He was waiting on the return of Jacob. Jacob was scared though. Jacob thought he was still going to be upset and mad. He was still going to try to harm him. But it didn't go out like that. So I feel like this is going to be Esau. Okay. Yep. Regeneration. This, that's the phoenix rising from the ashes. There's something about to be regenerated here. And I feel, look, co-create. Now, I don't know what all happened with Esau and Jacob, okay? Um, but I feel like with this right here, 
there's going to be some type of co-creating. I was also picking up on, okay, last night when as I was doing my reading, he said that Jacob wrestled with God. And in the Bible, they were saying what it really meant was that he was having an internal fight with himself, with his higher self, right? And um, once he overcame that, then he pretty much gave himself over to God. That's what I understood out of it, y'all. Like I said, y'all leave it in the comments. Let me know where I'm wrong. Enlighten me on it because I didn't know the story of Jake. I really didn't be honest with you. I ain't know it. That's why when I got it last night, I'm like, what? I, I typed it in exactly how I got it. Returning home um, of Jacob in the Bible. So that's how I searched it up. And then as I was reading, I remember a long time ago, my mama was telling me the story of Esau and Jacob because she was trying to tell me how uh, Judah, the tribe of Judah, Jacob had 12 children, which was the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, that's what my mama was trying to tell me. But I, I, for myself, had never read that story. So, what I got out of it, like I say, it's going to be some type of mending. Okay? And I feel like there's going to be some type of co-creating with these two nations. With these two people. With these two loyal hearts. Because they got the keys to something. And you know what it reminds me of? A high priestess and a hierophant. Y'all know I've been picking up on the high priestess and hierophant energy for months. And I said that they're, they're, those are the differences, right? So think of the fraternal twins. They don't look alike. All right? But th so there's some type of differences there. And that's what I'm getting with these two keys. So this could be a high priestess and this could be a hierophant. But let's let's see. I do feel like these people are going to be co-creating something. Now, there's a gnat right here. He's dying, poor thing. And y'all know gnats, they're not really harmful, but they're annoying as fuck. So, if something was very annoying in your life, I feel like that could be dying out. As I say that, look at the death card at the top of the deck. So, let's see. Spirit. Ooh, the devil. Cha cha cha. That devil could just be symbolic for the hatred that Esau had for Jacob. Uh... He was angry, but in that then them twenty years of separation between Esau and Jacob, the Most High God had changed Esau's heart. I t listen, the hierophant, huh? That's what these two. Now the hierophant it can be symbolic to whatever's gonna be in y'all life, but that's what's about to reconcile. That's what's about to co-create. I'm telling you, because the deep knowing is the High Priestess card. Okay, the high priestess and the hierophant, they're about to be some type of reconciliation. And I'm even getting the movie The Best of Enemies. It, that, that show is on, uh, I think it's Netflix. So, y'all, let's see what's going on. Spirit. Yeah, it's, 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 look at that, y'all. Anyway, let's see what's going on, y'all. The EFO got the keys to something. It could just be the key to each other's heart. Good with the loyal hearts right here. Again, take it how it's going to resonate for y'all. So, Divine Holy Spirit, Ancestors, and Christ, White Light. Allow me to channel the energy around my collective peace and thank you. Angel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy out. That's the deep knowing. That was a big butterfly. That's the deep knowing, y'all. Page of Pentacles is um, learning something new. New discovery. Okay, so I don't know which one going to be Esau and which one going to be Jacob. Okay? Uh, maybe the high priestess is Jacob and the higher friend is Esau. Take a high going to resonate. But somebody here has learned something new. Maybe something that they was refusing to see. Maybe one person has learned something new and the other, the other one is refusing to see that. Right, because remember, Esau was ready to forgive, ready to embrace his brother that he hadn't seen in 20 years. Jacob was like, uh-uh, he gonna try to kill him. He was scared. So, let's keep going, y'all. We're gonna take that two of swords out. 
Cause that's what it's about to be, man. And I'm really feeling like it's going to affect a lot of people in a good way. Because there's somebody going to be co-creating right here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ten of Cups. This could, be a, this could be family. Like I said, this could be two brothers that ain't seen each other in a long time. But it's very significant when I read God told him to leave that place after he accepted the birthright. Told him to leave. So in, in the day story, he was gone for 20 years. Maybe he was only gone for a year. Maybe he was gone for a few weeks, a few months. I don't know. But you need to know that somebody's heart has been changed. Somebody has learned something new in that time of separation. And now it's time for regeneration and co-creation. Because these is the two nations, High, high Priestess and the Hierophant. Esau and Jacob. Okay. Look at that. And how much you want to bet? So you got the Empress right here. This Empress is this High Priestess. And I bet that the damn Hierophant is the Emperor. I, I just know what I'm feeling, y'all. You got the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. What else, spirit? Again, y'all, leave it in the comments. Let me know why I'm, you know, missing parts of it or I'm not quite understanding. That's just what I got out of it, okay? All right, you got a king of wands. This is someone taking action. Doesn't matter the sign. Someone's taking action here. Ooh, yeah, with the knight of wands. Passionately taking action towards something. Could be a partnership with the two of cups. That's that royal heart energy. I mean, I don't know. All right, so you got judgment. I saw judgment earlier. It was behind the Empress. You got judgment, the chariot with the six of pentacles. Um, this is all coming from a higher authority. You see the angel in the, in the sky blowing a trumpet. Whatever this judgment is, it's coming from a higher up. Because just like God told Jacob to leave, he also told him to return. Some of y'all could be worried for nothing, scared for nothing. Jacob was scared for nothing. He was fearful for nothing. And it did say that he was trying to give him a bunch of gifts. Six of Pentacles is charity. He was trying to give him a bunch of gifts to uh, lighten the blow so that he, so Esau would accept him. But Esau wasn't even mad no more. He was ready to see his brother. This could be, like I said, it could be between two brothers. I keep uh, cutting it on the Ten of Cups, which is family. Now, you got to know, just common sense, there's going to be some people who aren't willing to forgive. Who is Some people aren't ready to have a co-creation or regeneration. But that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Okay, what else, spirit? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like that's that co-creating. So, hell, yeah, he could be co-workers. This could be a boss and a... Um, why was I finna say a boss and a tenant? <laughs> I don't know. This could be a boss and an employee. But I feel like y'all gonna work on something with this Eight of Pentacles right here. <clears throat> it reminds me of a reading I did. Y'all listen now. Okay, you got the five ones at the bottom of the deck. Um, that probably, that's probably Esau's 400 men. Because in the Bible, when, when Jacob took the birthright, Esau became very, very angry. He hated Jacob. And he sent 400 men after him. Five ones, okay? But anyway, uh, I did a reading probably a year ago or more and in that reading this is very specific to so take how it's going to resonate it was a devil energy behind the hierophant and they had set up something where something could be seen right we do got this observer where something could be seen now they knew that this person it's like gathering a crowd five of ones to watch a person 
and they were going to be talking about things that they knew this other energy that was being watched had no knowledge of and in that reading it said that the most high god came through there's a card in here that says the angels are helping you to lovingly speak your truth that came through and said something and somebody like somebody got a message and in that reading it was the king of wands i said so they were watching someone speak or something like that in that reading a year ago and um it i was getting that that devil energy was a church take how that's how i was getting in in that reading take how it's gonna resonate um but they had set up something and i said you might have said abc but this person who needed to because somebody's freeing themselves from something to reconcile something because see that devil energy was trying to create a division and uh the most high was wanting people to co-create collaborate right unity bring them together and they were going to take the, the best of both worlds the hyphen and the high priestess they did right there throat chakra the angels are helping you to lovingly speak your truth this is the card that came out in that reading and um it was kind of like i'm gonna be honest what i was kind of getting yeah forgiveness be willing to forgive and love is at the heart of the matter That's, these are the cards that i'm seeing but in that reading what i was getting uh a preacher might partner with a high priestess y'all it's gonna be different for everybody okay but somebody was trying to make somebody look bad and and to continue to create the division and to continue um this judgmental behavior but somebody got embarrassed in that reading and i don't know who it was could have been a high priest could have been a high fan y'all would have to go watch the reading it's, it's like i said it's a year old but the the one person who needed to hear something like i said you could have said abc and another thing you didn't know when this gathering was going to happen you didn't know when these folk were going to be watching but the creator did and me as a reader i don't know what people need to hear i don't know who's watching but the most high god know what people need to hear somebody in that uh group that somebody had assembled learned something new page of pentacles something that they was refusing to see with the two of swords they learned something new so can did i mix these up how long y'all got that bag I'm trying to see what this is and like i said take a hike this, this could be friends freedom i possess the power and free will to create my own happiness that could be this king of wands who's passionately going after their passions uh that could be this empress it could be anybody on this board but somebody's realizing that they got freedom and in doing so that brings balance in somebody's life somebody's world this card says i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment one of these people was judging somebody but the only the only person who really has the authority to do that is from the up and it is the up that is calling this regeneration co-creation reconciliation take how it gonna resonate okay honesty this is the ace of swords in this deck i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it for myself that's that deep knowing right here with this observer somebody done learned something new and i feel like they're gonna take because these if you if you just talk about these energies separately um let's go back to jake all and jacob and esau they were both favored the mother favored one the father favored the other so both of these people these could be two leaders these could be two different energies that are favored, but have been separate. But in that time of separation, people's hearts change. Or the Page of Pentacles wouldn't be out here. Somebody learned something new. Somebody was refusing to see something and then learned something new. And there's about to be a reconciliation. Just the truth of it. This could be you. If this is a family member, it's like, man, it's been so long. I don't forgot what I'm mad about. Or it's not even worth you know what they say had uh, distance or absence absence makes the heart grow fonder so if this is was a relationship and maybe y'all did have a little argument maybe y'all was mad at each other and so now y'all ain't been in each other's life for so long this person like man whatever that was I, we don't need to do that again okay i miss having you around or y'all it's something like that okay 
look, relationships. I'm only attracted to those who serve my higher good. All right. Maybe this was a family that didn't want two people together. I I don't know, man. All right, you got uh, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Encourage. That goes back to that post that I posted early. Yeah, because somebody could have went through some uh, adversity because of these relationships. Yeah, look, look. They envy right there. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. That about to be a partnership. It's out here too many times. Co-create, two of cups, eight of pentacles with the six of pentacles. Adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Courage, I find the strength to face my, my fear with confidence. So that post that I posted earlier, um, how it start our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate no our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are strong beyond measure right and we got this courage perseverance with adversity maybe somebody stood their ground or I, I really don't know how they're gonna resonate but I feel like forgiveness will be had right here. And even if they don't totally reconcile, I feel like they'll be able to see it from some from another person's perspective. Because it did say in the story that I was reading last night, he said um, that Jacob was his own man and so was Esau. Now, Jacob lived his own life with this freedom and the things that Jacob wanted to do Esau would never do. And the things that Esau wanted to do, Jacob never did. They, they, these was the two, the birth of two nations, two different people. The hierophant with the high priestess. But they were both favored. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm picking that up. They was both favored. But with this freedom, I, I feel like somebody is leaving something. I don't know what it is. Somebody leaving something. Look how they realize they possess the power and free will to create their own happiness. This could be symbolic to um, say you was taught to believe some, a certain thing with that, what that card say. Honesty, I can't expect the truth from others, but I can expect it for myself. Parents teach us what they know, and in doing that, they feel like they're doing the best that they, that, the best that they know. But once you go out and live, you have to experience life. It even say study and show yourself approved. So people find their own way. You can raise a child up, 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 and they still gonna go their own way. Especially if there's a lesson down that path. We could tell that child over and over again, no, 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 no. But if there's a lesson down that path that the Most High God has placed for that person, it has to be learned that way. It can't be learned by you just telling that person not to do something. Okay, so this could even involve children with the Page of Pentacles. With the hyphen, this could involve parents and children. We do got the Ten of Cups right here. I don't, like I said, take it how it resonates for y'all. I just feel like somebody's learning something new. And there's going to be some type of co-create energy right here. So let's pull my green cards, y'all, with this co-create, this Eight of Pentacles. Look, something is in the media. Remember I said that reading I did a year ago? These people had gathered. And they were planning to, I don't know, I don't know if it was so much discredit a person, but they were trying to make somebody look bad. Um, and you didn't know this was going on, but Spirit did. And Spirit came through with a message for somebody that was in that crowd. Now, I'm not saying everybody learned something new, but somebody did, or the Page of Pentacles wouldn't be here. Okay. This could be a, a mother. Maybe you ain't talked to your mom in a long time. Uh, I don't know who it is. You got a gift right here. Uh, so, this card says, Someone may give you a gift, lend you money, or help you out in some kind of way. That could be that Six of Pentacles. It also says you could get a cash bonus at work. That could be that Eight of Pentacles. Then it says you have natural talents, gifts, and abilities waiting to be discovered. Explore them. So, 
Uh, maybe a new job of some kind is coming your way. We do got the eight of pentacles out here. I don't, I don't know, child. Peacemaker. I feel like somebody is ready to forgive. Consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacemaking career. That's not, I'm, I, I mean, that could be for somebody. But I feel like I'm getting the whole peace with it. Okay. Now, somebody could have been in court arguing about some money or something. Let's pull, uh, I'm going to pull my kipper in a minute. But look. First, over here, you got that uh, perseverance. I could do whatever I set my mind to. And then here, you got persistence. So, your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. It says, follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. For some of you, hard work is required uh, to keep building upon your finances. And you got stability, which is the Ten of Pentacles, with the Empress. That Parenthood card is the Empress. Yeah ask for help some for some of y'all there's something legal going on about some money or some shit bro yeah great fortune but anyway unexpected income pathway thief I don't know if somebody's stealing somebody's work, stealing someone's money, stealing something, child. They stealing something of high honor or someone of high honor is stealing something. What? Yeah, occupation again. Occupation, wealthy man, official person, false person. Somebody could have had some false people working for them. What else be here? Because this wealthy man could be a business owner, this official person, which is the emperor again. It could have some false people working for a child. And then false people could be the same ones that want to continue. There could be a queen of pentacles from somebody past. Could somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio, page of swords. Somebody wants to continue to create some type of division here. But there was also something meant to be. When I, If I go back to the story. Like somebody, he was saying they couldn't take his divine promise. The birthright. I don't know what this is. It could be a position. With occupation out here twice? It could definitely be a position of some sort. Yeah, because see, somebody here been blocking some mail, some money, some communication. It's being blocked. But there's about to be an end to that. With the death card. And that ending opens up five blessings. Or there's five people who have a candle. You see how the candle is lit? So that could be the five people who see something different. Or there's five blessings coming into a person where they were being blocked out of. Where they were being blocked. All communications, the phone, emails, everything's being blocked. When it come in, it go right here in this drawer. And like I said, this could be coming from a family. Maybe your family blocked communication from you. Or you, them. Take how it resonates. What else, spirit? But high honor is here. So what I'm getting with this high honor is... I'm picking up the six of wands with this. Which is victory and success. I'm also getting... When he said his word cannot come back void. There was something meant to be. And so it's going to be. 
this high honor is, is just like the judgment. Something's coming from higher. Man, I, I could go so deep with that whole story, bro. But I'm just, I'm trying to keep it simple. But I see some, and on this judgment card, people are being caught up. So, I, I said I was getting that six of wands, victory and success. This says, look, your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break or some type of financial breakthrough. It also says anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Yeah, and it goes back to that arguments, which is the five of wands. People don't want that. Because, see, the empty card is right here. So, there is still some people that want to create this division. But, somebody saw something. Maybe it was the persistence that someone saw. Whatever it was that they saw allow them to see differently and allow them to free themselves. Maybe this, the freedom that I'm picking up is mentally. Because the two of swords, that's, that's mentally refusing to see something, right? So maybe somebody's able to free themselves mentally. But for some of y'all, with that whole freedom, that's a person walking away from something. Like they had some unreliable people with them. People not following through on their promises to pay. But I see that this wealthy man, this official person, could have had false people working for them. Somebody could want to take someone under their wing. Anyway, this card is a good indicator that things will start to move rather quickly. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. Somebody could be unfulfilled in their job. Someone could be an entertainer, investment, persistence. Yeah, and I said a long time ago, a person ain't going to invest in. So somebody could have been trying to make somebody give up too now. But anyway, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Because like I said, it's like somebody was called to leave. Somebody's going to be called to come back. And when they do, somebody's heart is going to be changed. And I feel like that could be this love right here. Yeah, and look, so many opportunities are becoming available. Now, don't get stuck in doubt when an when the opportunity presents itself, seize the moment. So, an opportunity for reconciliation, opportunity for business. I, listen, something coming back. The past card. Something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. It also says look to the past to understand a lesson, an experience, or an old skill. Some of you could even be receiving money from something that you did in the past. It's going to be different for all of y'all. But with this look to the past to understand the lesson, that's what I'm getting, Jacob and Esau. Maybe this got something to do with inheritance. Um, and Esau was mad in hell when Jacob took the birthright. And he sent 400 men. I don't know, y'all. It could have some, because I see windfall right here. Could have something to do with inheritance. I don't know. I feel like balance is about to be restored after some fucking adversity right here, child. Ooh -wee. That adversity card is it's the, it's like the ten of wands, the five of swords, the five of wands wrapped all up, and the ten of swords. Which is why you got that regeneration. The phoenix rise from the ashes. Maybe something had completely burnt down. Which is what it looked like on this card. But there's still life in that tree. Even though the, the, the ground is burning. There's still life left in it. And 46 break it down to a 10. So for some of you the worst is over. And that balance could be restored. And people could be trying to keep that from happening. Hell, somebody could try to reach out to you. Look at that. Okay, some of y'all could earn money doing something that you love or a dream job could could be offered to you. I don't know. And this dream job could come from that hierophant. And that hierophant could be offered to that high priest. Somehow these folk going to be doing something. If it ain't nothing but forgiving each other. But it's going to help a lot of people. It, it's going to help a lot of people with what they do. Okay? So, y'all. 
that is what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. I gotta take these these readings off for entertainment purposes only. Take what resonates. Don't make nothing fit. What they say, if it don't apply, let it fly, child. And don't ever put no one above your own intuition, okay? I'm also getting, somebody could have been passed up for a job that could be coming back to them for whatever reason. But somebody's like, I'm only attracted to those, to those who serve my higher good. So maybe someone's ready to expand. Maybe they do it the old way. And this could literally resonate in many different ways, okay? Ooh, child. All right, let's close this thing out with an angel message. But a collective. Make sure I had put everything in the upright, okay? Let's see. Someone could be an author. Spirit. Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. All right. What else, spirit? This how it's all, y'all. All right. So you got daydream, assertiveness. That's that standing. Well, it says this is like the seven of wands. The situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with others involved. We will stand behind you as you speak your truth. Giving you strength and guiding your words. Okay, and then time to go and new partner. A chance meeting was no mistake. Something was meant. Chance meeting was no mistake. It was divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion. So pay careful attention to the new people that we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of comfort and safety. Now, with this, um, for some of you, I don't feel like it could have been new in the past. You see what I'm saying? With this new person, it could have been new in the past and something could have happened that broke this energy apart. Maybe for some you don't know them but I, that's not what i'm getting but take it how it's gonna resonate okay bottom of the deck again is books your life, your life purpose involves writing reading editing or selling spiritual based books so maybe you you're guided to write a book or this person could be a writer i don't know child but yeah that's what i got for y'all i love y'all from the bottom of my feet both of them oh yeah one last thing and i kept getting that when he told Jacob to leave. The one thing that he promised Jacob was protection, that he would always be with him. So I'd be with you, I'd be with you. He renamed Jacob. They said, you know, back then when you be when, when someone gave you another name, that was massive. Because Jacob meant tricking folk, deceptive, and some other stuff. But he renamed him. And um, they, they held a lot of meaning. And so whatever Jacob went through while he was in separation, God promised him that he would protect him, that he would always be with him. And he would. So it's up for you to figure out who is going to be Jacob and Esau in this story for you. Because it's going to be different for everybody that's watching. I was just really getting forgiveness, obedience, protection, reconciliation. This hell, this reconciliation could be with self. Because it said that he was wrestling with a mysterious uh, energy. And I read into it a little bit more. And it was basically saying that he was fighting with himself. Okay. So maybe you was doing something and, and your soul wasn't able to rest that night. That's fighting with yourself. Like, hold up. This ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. He eventually got over that battle. And he said if God promised to feed him or clothe him and something else that he would give his life over. So, y'all, take a hike on Resonate, all right? Again, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. I am back home, and I am grateful. Till next time, bye.